<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game Tale. My name is Naveed, aka Barely Average Gaming. And today we have ourselves a legend of the UFC 4 community in Mr. Rehan, D4H Rehan, as he is more commonly known. Well, before we get on into what this man is all about and what he has achieved, uh, just a few insights into what we've been up to. So in Game Kale, we have uh, conducted interviews of various people from the UFC 4 community, including Cage Rage, including Brawler Bash, also with a few other streamers. We've also been doing a few esports tournaments, including UFC 4 and Clash Royale. Uh, if you want to be a part of that, we'll share all of the links in the description down below. Again, we are very, very thankful to everyone who's been supportive of Game Kale so far. And uh, hopefully, we'll see more support from everyone else. Back to the person that we have here today in UFC 4. You cannot go in rankings and not see Mr. T4H Rehan. He is an absolute beast if you've played him. If you have not played him, you have missed out on a lot. There's videos on YouTube. There's a lot of people who like him, some of them who do don't like him. But at the end of the day, he is undeniable. He is one of the best players, if not the best player of UFC 4. We have Mr. Rehan. Rehan, how are you doing today? I'm doing great today. Can't wait for this interview. And yeah, I'm ready for all these questions. Absolute pleasure to have you here, bro. So first and foremost, um, we have to get to the basics. We have to go right at the beginning. How did, how did, you, how did you get into UFC 4? Um, is it something that you started watching as a fan or was it the gameplay? How did you get into this? Yeah, so my first UFC game was EA Sports UFC 1. And ever since then, I made sure to get every UFC game. So UFC 2, 3, and 4. And um, yeah, so the way I got 4, I got it through a free trial. It was a 24-hour free, free trial. And I was able to compete in the ESFL with that trial. And um, everyone that competed there actually got the full game uh, for free. So I got the game seven days before most people got it. So yeah, that's, that's how I got uh, UFC 4. Well, like you just mentioned, you uh, got into UFC 4 perhaps um, three to four years ago when the, when the games actually started. Um, what got you into these games? Um, was it interest in uh, UFC or was it just the gameplay? Yeah, so I've always been a big fan of both UFC and video games. So when I realized there's a UFC game out, then that's, that was perfect for me. So I got it right away. And yeah, it's been my favorite, my favorite games ever since. All right, so like you mentioned, uh, ESFL, the biggest league there, who's currently partnered with, with the UFC, uh, you, you must be interacting with the community that is there for the UFC games. Um, it's a very tight-knit community, obviously. Uh, there's a lot of testosterone <laughs> flying around. But at the end of the day, um, we are a small community who look after each other, um, especially in the case of Scott Hector that uh, he passed away a few weeks ago. The whole community came together for him. So within this community of UFC 4, that is pretty tightly knit. Um, do you have any favorite players or role models that you, lo you, you looked up to or you look up to? Um, some people in uh, the ESFL and in the UFC community that I think are great role, model role models are two Twitch streamers, uh, Game Echo and uh, Let There Be Light. There are two streamers that um, they accept all, all gameplay, cheese, no cheese, grapple, striking, and um, they're always accepting of, of whatever style you come with. And of course, I'm going to have to add uh, the boss, Matt and Gancho. That man's a, a great for the community as well. Um, I love the way he's handling Cage Rage and the community over there. And I think he's he's great for great for this game. All right. Like he mentioned, Doncho is also helping us out with the Game Kill community. So for everyone watching, if you want to be a part of that, actually, Rehan also joined us in the group. So I uh, want to interact if you want to be a part of that. Um, anyways, so again, like you mentioned, the word, the keyword being cheese. Uh, that has been flowing around quite a bit when it comes to grappling, when it comes to the gameplay. And uh, well, I think I faced you once on Cage Rage uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, your ground game is absolute dominant. Like that's something it's pretty hard to get out of. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people seem to dislike what you've uh, been able to achieve. Uh, do you think when it comes to handling criticism or the kind of input that people tend to give you, uh, for instance, I'm, I'm pretty sure when you do live streams, there are a lot of comments that, are, that, that get flown around. So how do you handle that kind of pressure? How do you handle that kind of, um, uh, you know, for some people, it drives them to change, change up their style or do you stick to it? How do you, how do you approach it? Yeah, so a lot of the community, they, they dislike my style, my, um, what they say, cheesy style. But um, what I say is 
it gets the wins, you know, it, it gets me wins on ranked. It gets me wins in these competitive leagues and um, I have fun doing it. So I never uh, listen to any of the people that are uh, trying to say any of these uh, things about me, about the way I play. I just play to win and I'm, I just, I haven't been affected by any of their, any of their comments. All right. I think uh, at the end of the day, you have to grow a thick skin. And again, if you're um, seeing the levels of success that you have, and if it's working, uh, like like they say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I think that's that's the way to go with it. Um, another thing, uh, when it comes to the gameplay, uh, and again, like you mentioned, you've been competing in various leagues, especially the ESFL and um, who has been your toughest opponent and why? Yeah, so there's a lot of tough opponents that have faced, a lot of very skilled opponents. But um, one that comes to mind is actually GOAT1099. He's a, a long-time ESFL competitor and the main reason he gives me so much trouble and gives a lot of people and a lot of cheesers a lot of trouble, grapplers, is that he's got great grappling defense and he can strike with the best. And um, a lot of these strikers, they're they're very skilled in striking, but they won't have the best grappling defense. But someone like Go1099, he can grapple with everyone, even though he is a striker. So that's, that's what really makes him uh, the toughest opponent I faced. Another thing that I would really like to ask you, especially considering you've been uh, playing four different versions of UFC, you've been competing in, at, at the highest level for a certain period of time. What are the biggest issues that EA needs to fix um, by the time the next game comes up or within this game? What, what are the biggest issues that they need to address right away? Yeah, so the biggest issue right now, it's a, it's a very big exploit. It's when you get someone in Crucifix and they try to transition, you can input an Americano or any submission that the offensive player has in Crucifix. And then it stops your opponent from moving completely, stops their transition. And then you can cancel right away and then just beat them up. And then whenever they transition again, it's just you repeat the cycle. And that's the most broken thing in this game right now. And another thing I have to add to something that I'd like to see fixed or um, better improved for the next UFC game is how easy it is to take the back in this game. It's really two steps to take the back. You can double leg bail and then just press L2 and square and you've got their back. It's it's way too easy. So I'd like to see some improvements in a, that as, aspect of this game moving over to UFC 5. All right. I think that's something that echoes with a lot of the players, including myself, when it comes to this game. Um, EA, again, has been able to deliver uh, and under deliver at times. But at the end of the day, I think what needs to happen and that this is one criticism that has come up for EA is that they need to listen to the community because the community has a lot of input. They may not have all the best things to say, but at the end of the day, it does matter on the experience that the players are receiving when they're playing these games. Well, um, another thing I would really like to ask you, considering that uh, you you are a grappler uh, stylistically, but when it comes to your stand-up, it's, it's surprisingly good. It's at, uh, it, it catches your opponent's off guard when they're expecting a double leg, and all of a sudden they have a three-piece combo in their faces. So again, so it means that it, it helps that you follow UFC. It helps that you're also into gameplay. But if you were to make a perfect fighter, if you were to make your perfect fighter, what aspects of each particular fighter that you would pick in order to make your perfect fighter? Perhaps you pick up, pick up stand up from one particular fighter, mentality of one, heart of one. How would you create your perfect fighter? Yeah, so we'll start off with a, with a submissions. For straight up submissions, I'd have to give that to T4H Zeus. That guy has by far the best submissions in this game. And um, in terms of grappling, uh, not submissions, but like holding positions and uh, top control, uh, there's a lot of players that are that are good at that as well. But I'd give that one to me, uh, to be honest. Top control and grappling, that's probably what I'm best at. And then uh, in terms of clinching, uh, T4H Buck Flair, another Xbox fighter, T4H competitor, I've played a lot of the T4H guys, and by far, his his clinch is is amazing. He's he can really hold people in the clinch, spin them around, give them knees. It's it's impressive. And uh, in terms of striking, striking is the hardest one because there's so many strikers, so many skillful uh, stand up fighters. Um, but um, if I'm if I'm gonna pick one, it will have to be Ed Parker. Um, Ed Parker, compared to the rest of the competition, just uh, striking in a stand and bang match, I feel like no one will beat him. Uh, there are some strikers that can mix in grappling better, but just straight up striking, I'd have to choose that Parker. I would just want to shed some light on what, what is it like to be a part of a camp like T4H? Yeah, T4H, it's a great camp to be a part of. Um, it's mostly on Xbox. They might try to branch out to PlayStation later, but there's always people to spar. 
Um, and what I've sparred, the people I've sparred with, they're all very uh, good, especially in the clinch and grappling. It's it's mainly a grappling camp. And, you know, it's great to be a part of a, ca a camp that can really improve your game in many different ways. And it's what helped me got better um, recently, ever since I joined T4H. Again, a couple of more questions. So uh, considering the fact that there is a lot of buzz about this new upcoming game of ESBC, uh, Esports Boxing Club, uh, a lot of people are planning to switch to that game. Um, have you considered that, considering it's straight up boxing? And um, if you want to approach it, what would, uh, how would you go about it? Yeah, I can't wait for ESBC. I've never had a boxing game before. I never had Fight Night uh, Champion. So this would be the first boxing game I played. And it looks great so far. And I feel like they've got a great, um, great team uh, behind them to really build up the game and make it as best as it can be. So, yeah, I'm 100% going to get that as soon as it comes out. Um, it won't replace UFC for me. UFC is always going to be my favorite game. But ESBC, for sure, is going to be a game I play a lot alongside UFC. Yes, I think a lot of people in the fighting community, so to say, are looking forward to that game. And uh, if the game is even half as good as the trailers that we've seen, I think we're all in for a treat. And best, best wishes to the developers uh, that are making that game. Um, just a couple more questions for you, Rehan. Um, so one thing that I would really want to know is um, you've played all, all the games that are out there, especially under the EA UFC banner. Uh, of all of the four games, which one is your favorite and for what reason? Yeah, so out of all the games, it would have to be between UFC 3 and UFC 4. I mean, UFC 2 was a very fun game, but it was very arcadey. It wasn't, it didn't simulate real life at all. That's, that's how I should say it. Uh, but UFC 3 and UFC 4, they both have things that the game needs to work on. But in terms of my favorite game, it would have to be this current one, UFC 4. It's where I've had the most success in all these different leagues and I've really had fun competing on ranked and competing with different uh, high level competitors on on UFC 4 so yeah this game is is my favorite uh, as of now all right again it, uh, we just have one more question for you Rehan before we let you go um, so a lot of people especially in this community like yourself at in a very young age are playing at a level that is unseen because again I've been playing this game since um, it was uh, undisputed. So seeing a lot of young people coming up in, in this game and achieving the, the things that you're, you're trying to achieve and you've already achieved, um, that's something that a lot of people are aspiring to do. And um, if there's a takeaway that they would want, and obviously someone like you, they would definitely want some, some input from. And um, so considering the fact that you are at a level where a lot of people are aspiring to reach and they want to reach, what would your advice be to them? How, how do you think they can stay committed and do what they do and reach the levels that you have? Yeah, so there, there are a few things you can do to really improve your game and become a, a better player. And uh, one of the things, it's, it's quite an obvious thing to say, but it, it's really true. Play a lot of ranked because on ranked, you'll find different fighters, people you're not used to, grapplers, strikers from all different styles. And um, it can that will really help improve your game if you play ranked. And also, um, this is even better, if you find elite level players to spar against. Um, for example, how I joined T4H, if you, jo you can join a camp, if you can you know, find some people to really help improve your game with you, that can also um, be really effective in, in uh, improving your game. But um, the last one I have to say, not many people do this, not enough people do this, is uh, watching streams, watching high level players fight. For example, Cage Rage, even watching Cage Rage, um, they have a lot of high-level competition there. Um, watching streamers like uh, Gaming Echo, Prioxis, um, Go 1099, like I mentioned earlier, Zayaf when he streams. A lot of really skilled streamers out there that you can take a lot of information from and learn how to play the game from. All right. So, um, Rehan, again, thank you so much for uh, your time. Uh, for everyone watching, Rehan is not only a competitor, he also streams at times. So, we are going to share his YouTube link for uh, on, on this, uh, uh, in the comment section, in the descriptions. So just make sure to go there, give some love to Rehan. And also for everyone watching again, we would like to thank you for joining us for this interview. Um, we will be doing more interviews with streamers and community, not just with UFC 4. We are also looking to transition into different esports events like FIFA, like Pekin. So we will be doing a lot of events uh, moving forward in the next coming, in, in the upcoming days. So uh, before we let you go, Rehan, any final words? 
Um, yeah, one final thing I'll have to say. Don't listen to all the haters. Play the game how you want to play it. Uh, strike and grappling, like I said. Do what you want. And yeah, it was a pleasure being here, Naveed. Uh, real pleasure, Rehan. For everyone watching, again, thank you all so much for joining in. And we'll see you guys real soon. Peace out.